This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by the Ocean City Hotel Motel Restaurant Association. Well, whether you're looking for appetizers for your football party this weekend or Valentine's Day is almost here, so mm. you might even need some finger foods for a winter wedding, our next guests can help. Yeah, Jeb Betok is the executive chef and general manager of Harrison's Harbor Watch Restaurant in Raw Bar in Ocean City. And Heidi O'Donnell is director of events with Harrison Group Resort Hotels and Restaurants. Great to have you guys in. Okay, so Jeb, mm -hmm. uh, make sure I get this right. We're making ahi tuna wonton. Yes, sir. What do I do? All right, I'm going to put you to work here. Okay. I would like you to take all the ingredients we have here. We have some soy sauce, some sesame oil, some rice wine vinegar, okay. pepper, garlic, onion. We're going to mix this in the bowl. All right. We're going to marinate our ahi tuna, and we're going to sear it, and we're going to put it on top of some flash fried wontons. Well, what? you do it all at once, don't you? There's the ingredients. There's just the in ingredients. case you want to pick those up for you. And okay, so I, do, any particular order, or just nope, just put all put these it items in right in there. Yep. All, all right, measured out. Yep, all measured, all measured out, up. ready to go. <laughs> just put everything in. Everything right in, like ready to go. That's okay. the way he likes yep. it. That's yep. the way I like it. <laughs> Cup of soy right. sauce, a tablespoon of this, tablespoon of that. The recipe's on your website and should be up for your viewers, I believe. Right, absolutely. Great. And awesome. I say, this is a popular uh, recipe or a popular appetizer for weddings. Absolutely. It's been one of our more popular recipes and appetizers at our weddings over the past couple of years. Um, probably due in part to people becoming more comfortable with sushi yeah. and raw seafood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. all, right. all right, wait a minute. Don't get ahead of me. What'd you just do? <laughs> just put a little just oil in the pan. Oil. Oh, okay. Oh, Okay, right. I just want to know. I'm just trying to figure out what's happening here. You have to multitask here. Okay, well, see, that's my problem right there. <laughs> All right. While he's doing that, Heidi, you do have a lot of weddings year round, don't you? Well, not year round, not in the no. summer. We but are booked with weddings fall and spring. Okay. Yes. Because um. Harbor Watch does close December and January and February. Uh -huh. So, yes, fall and spring, we do a lot of weddings. Um, this is very popular either the shrimp wontons, tuna wontons. A trend that we're seeing these days are food stations. A lot of people don't want to do a sit down dinner mm -hmm. anymore for a wedding. They want to have a lot of food, a lot of variety. Uh, they want to personalize their food. We uh, pick out uh, items that they like that are indicative from where they're from or family recipes of theirs that we'll do for them and they just have food stations out. That's a shot of our Anaposti station. Oh. That is very popular. It used to be uh, people who were, you know, coming from Italian families will have that, but now everyone is having that. That's oh. just a little bit of everything and it just gives guests more variety. They get to walk around and eat and kind of sit where they want to sit and it's not so structured as right. a, a formal sit-down event would be. Right. Nice. How you doing so, over there? Are we ready to Doing good. Normally, normally you would let this marinate for about 15 minutes, mm -hmm. but okay. short on time, so we're just going to put this right we're doing in. the TV thing. TV <laughs> time, yep. Right into the skillet. We're going to lift the sear, oh, get a little bit sound. of color. And with tuna, you can make it pretty much like steak. R raw, rare, medium rare, rare to well done, whatever you prefer. For this dish, we're going to be on the rare side, so uh -huh. it's going to have a lot of bright red color on it. We're just going to get a sear on either side of it, and we're going to slice it down, and we'll plate it up on top of the wontons, and we have a variety of condiments here as well for you. Now, you've got shrimp here, too. We have some shrimp. If you're not into tuna, we can do some shrimp. We can put a couple of these in here as well. They take a little bit longer than the tuna will. So that's your alternative? It's your alternative. If you're gotcha. not into raw seafood, we can cook the shrimp the whole way through for you. And we can add those to the same skillet. Ooh, mm -hmm. nice. Very easy. They'll just take a little bit longer. A very good day on And Del these Life. will sit out on like a seafood station. So you ha you saw the anapasti. We'll right. have a whole separate station of just seafood. We do a lot oh. of crab cakes, the ahi tunas, the shrimp, crab dip, uh, local fish. We're known for our local fish. We'll have rockfish in the fall. Do a little mahi in the spring, and people love it. Now, nice. you, there are several ways you can get the uh, recipe, mm -hmm. shopping list, and everything. All you need to do is send us a self-addressed stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, Maryland, 21801. Or you can get it online at delmarvalife.com. If you want to give us a call, 443-880-9116. Make sure you let us know you want the recipe for ahi tuna wontons. Mm -hmm. All right. All right well, Jimmy's doing all the work. <laughs> Jimmy's doing a great job. But we job. get to eat. See? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, wait like a minute. How, that works. how does that work out? <laughs> I like how that works. All right. We're going to flip the shrimp here. Okay. Let them go for a little bit longer. The tuna's ready to come out, though. Okay. We're going to set this off. So have you got a standard for how long you should cook your uh, shrimp? For the shrimp, um, usually about a minute, minute and a half each side, and we will be good to go. So okay. we'll slide this back. Okay, now this is right where now. I get to work, right? You get to work get here, to yes. It. We're going to get to plate this up. Now, keep in mind, this is raw. If you don't like it this raw, you can do it a little bit longer. But this seems to be the trend. That nice pink color of fresh tuna is what we're looking for. Ooh. All right. And if you want to take a couple pieces here, and you can plate that up. Use can the I use this? Yes. Okay. Just put it on top. Right on top of there, yep. Yeah. All right. Well, Jimmy, since you're on that side, oh, I don't good. think you're going to be able well, to taste this. Wait a minute. So, 
Who made these arrangements? <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass one to you. <laughs> All right. All right. Now, the shrimp will be done here in just a second. If you like, you can try some of the sweet chili sauce. We have a wasabi sour cream, pickled ginger, any type of spicy food that you like on top of that. There's a variety of things you can do with tuna. There's so many recipes out there for seared tuna. And make it your own party. All right. Okay, well, there we go. Now, still to come on Delmarva Live. Mm. First, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> First, it was bring Brady when the Ravens, or bring on Brady when mm -hmm. the Ravens took on the Patriots in the AFC Championship. Now, it's time for the big game, and Beauty for Ashes Plus One is here with their new fight song, and we're going to hear more next on Delmarva Live. Wait, well, where's mine? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm just And as you're planning your football <laughs> party this weekend, you don't want to overdo it when it comes to the calories. Here's more on how you can keep it healthy. Hey, football fans. I'm Dr. Travis Stork, host of the medical talk show, The Doctors, and I have some fat fighting tips to help you score a health touchdown this Sunday. Did you know Americans will consume 11 million pounds of chips during the big game? The main culprit? Nacho. For a great nacho swap without fumbling on flavor, try this, make your own chips. Just grab regular corn tortillas, cut them into chip size, put them in the oven, salt to taste, and voila, homemade chips. And you save 40 calories per serving plus five grams of fat. And for a doctor approved dip, mix avocados with some tomatoes, onions, jalapenos, and the secret ingredient, non-fat Greek yogurt. It's protein-packed. It will guarantee your guac is the talk of the block. 